Alrighty, folks. Welcome to Quality Knife Sharpening, Jacksonville, Florida. I wanted to show you something today. I got all these knives from a subscriber. We got buck after buck after buck after buck here, and some pretty good sweethearts, if I don't, if I do say so myself. I mean, this is an old buck. We've got tie lights, but that's not what I wanted to really show you. We got a boker here. All right, so that's not what I really wanted to show you. A Milwaukee knife. Yes, a Milwaukee knife from good old the Home Depot. I wanted to show you something here because this is the least of what I would have thought. Okay, now, this is the Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro. Now this knife, it was sharp, but it had some, meh, little rough edges on it. Now what we do is we take this black Sharpie, also a Milwaukee, go figure, and we run it down. Now I've already figured this out prior to doing this video. We put that black marker on there, right? And I can run, as you see here, from 14 to 27 degrees for my angled sharpener. All right. Now, that is a 100-200 diamond. I'm going to go ahead and let's do the 200. I've, like I said, I've already figured this out. So if there's some, you know sharpening gurus out there I've already figured this out but this is what I I kind of found out here the least of what I thought okay we go back and forth and see how it's taken the marker off you can see it right there it's taken the marker right off okay right there perfectly fitting the bevel and look what it's set at, 19 degrees. I would have thought, right when I put this in my vise, I would have thought that this was going to be a 20 to 25. I figured maybe 25 degrees because it's a utility knife. It's a utility knife. As a matter of fact, the owner of this knife says he uses it on his boat to chop catfish bait and stuff like that and I mean I don't know how well he keeps it but it's not rusty these usually are like 8 CR 13 MOV uh, steel blades but isn't that something I would not have thought that this was a 19 degree because it's a utility utility knives usually do not have such a tight angle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going down here and I'm going to use my angle cube. I'm going to level it out. And we're going to set that on there like that. And then I'm going to take the angle cube. Oh, come on now. Okay, I tear it out. There you can see it. I'll put that on there right there like that. And hopefully you can read it. 18.15. That's the angle. And I'm sure it's the same on both. Let me take out my little pin there. So let's move this around. Take the angle cube off. We're going to put it over on this side. Put this, put it over there like that. This is how we do it. Okay. And this side I really haven't done much with, but look at that. 18.20. The other side was 18.15, if I don't, if I remember correctly. 
Oh, I just bumped it. But either way, I never thought a utility blade. When I first picked this up out of that box, I said to myself, okay, let me let me do the Sharpie and let me run it up here at about 23 to 25 degrees. That's the angle. So that's a pretty dang tight angle there on what would usually be just a utility knife. This is a construction knife. This is for, you know, I don't know. What would you do? Use as a duckboard knife, shaving some two by fours, you know, cutting stuff out on the job. All right. So I thought that was pretty amazing that this is such a uh, sharp angle. So I got it on 19 right there. But then, of course, it it does go back and forth. I mean, when I set it on 19, that could be 18. All right. Let's look at it one more time. So, let's see if I move it to 18. Say I move it to 18 down here. And then it's exactly 17 up there. So, just the way the knife is set up. That's how it translates up to the blade. But either way, that the whole point is, is when I go like this, it's taking that Sharpie marker off. There's a difference right there. And there's the Sharpie. I was just a little bit astounded. I even do my own fillet knives because they're much thinner and everything. I do most of my fillet knives at like 18 to 20 because the less angle the less um, delicate this edge is going to be so when it's got a very sharp degree 18 on this side and 18 on the other that's making a very fine edge and you'd think on a construction knife or something that uh, the edge could roll over so easy but I assume this is, you know, kind of straight out of the package and the owner, you know, he ain't done much with it. So there you go. Just a little bit about sharpening some knives. Like I said, I got a pile here for a subscriber. I've already done this. This nice buck. As a, as a matter of fact, I had like 12 of these. This is, he's, he's given me a real throwback treatment here. I had about 12 of these. These are the, one of the nicest buck knives you'll ever run into. Yet, yeah, it really needs a thumb stud. So that, we got some uh, Bokers. We got some Buck 110s. Oh, and then of course I made this one. So it'll cut wind in another state. That there is a... Uh, 035 L Max blade on a Guardian Tactical OTF. Oh God. Oh, that one is so sharp. I love this. I had the larger at one time, which was the uh, Guardian Tactical Recon uh, 040, I believe. And it was too big, so I got rid of it. Now I'm envious because this is the size that I should have bought. I mean, my daily, my daily EDC is the 25 size. This is the 30, and this is my brass and aluminum Guardian Tactical 025. This is called a GTX, where does it say? It says it on there somewhere. I don't know where it says it, but again, an L Max. And you can see how smaller mine is. Right. But this this here is a really super perfect EDC size. And this was a blade show special with brass.
So that's my everyday carry. All right, well, that's it. So if you go to Home Depot and you buy one of these knives for uh, construction purposes, it's got a pretty sharp angle on it. Okay, so you, you can get these really, really sharp. But I'm afraid that the edge would roll. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it works for him. That's what I'm going to sharpen it at. And uh, I don't know. I was a little shocked, so I thought I'd pass it on. I don't know for sure, but I think that is pretty much, uh, you know, HCR 13 MOV, which I believe is sort of like an OS 8 for, for China. So, this has been Quality Knife Sharpening. Standing by. Talk to y'all later.